So question number 24, we are told, uh, this is from matrices and transformation. We are told um, a quadrilateral with the vertices at K11, L41, and M23, and N13 is transformed by a matrix T is equals to 1301 to a quadrilateral KLMN uh, plane. So, part A, determine the coordinates of the image. So, to determine that, we pre-multiply the matrix that is formed by the quadrilateral uh, with the, by the matrix. So, we say, uh, then we have uh, 1, 3, uh, that is 3, uh, this is 0, that is 1. Uh, the matrix will be for K, it is 1, 1. Uh, we have 4, 1 for L. We have 2, three and we have one uh, three so you multiply uh, the way we multiply matrices uh, so it is one times one you get uh, one three times uh, one is three so one plus three you get four then you have uh, one times four is four plus three that will give you seven uh, so th uh, then we have one times two is two plus nine that is 11 and then we have 1 times 1 is 1 plus 9 uh, that is 10 this other one is easy because it, it is 0 times 1 1 times 1 is 1 so it is the row that is uh, the second row will repeat itself uh, because the, 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 the second uh, the, the third element is 0 so we have uh, the second uh, element repeating itself and the other uh, element is 1 so this means that uh, our k prime is uh, 4 1 and then we have our l prime is uh, 7 uh, 1 uh, we have uh, we have m prime we have it is uh, 11 uh, 3 and finally we have n prime which is uh, uh, 10 3 uh, 10 3 so that is how you get the uh, the coordinates of the image on the grid provided draw the object and the image uh, you get two marks so uh, you have uh, the, the, there is a grid that is provided so let me put my grid uh, and be able to plot since I have now the coordinate so what I have done here is uh, I have inserted a grid uh, because of space uh, that will be enough for my graph I have calculated uh, that uh, the highest value of x is 11 and the highest value of uh, y is 3 so my this portion of the grid will be enough uh, so I'll start from here it is 0 uh, we have 1 we have 2 we have 3 so that is my y the x we start uh, with the 1 we have 2 we have 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that is my x. Uh, then what I'll do is to plot the points of the, we, um, uh, of the, the, the coordinates of the image. So we use, uh, we use that. So it, k is 1, 1. So that is where we have our k. That is our K. Uh, L is at uh, 4, 1. So we have, uh, this is 4, 1. This is where we have our L. Uh, we put our L there. Our M is at 2, 3. 2, 3. So this is where we have our M. And our N is at 1, 3. Uh, that is 1, 3. Uh, that is our N. So we join the... Uh, the four points will come with up with the quadrilateral. So that is our quadrilateral. That is the object. And now we we'll go ahead and uh, identify the points of uh, the image. So K is at uh, four one. So we have four one. That is the position of K. So that is our K prime. Our L is 7, 1, so here is our L prime, and uh, our M is 11, 3, 
11 and 3 is here. Uh, so this is M prime and uh, N is at 10, 3. So 10, 3 is there. So that is where we have our N prime. So we uh, we join the, the lines together to come up with the image, the quadrilateral image. So this is the image that uh, we obtain uh, by plotting the the coordinates of uh, the image, and then we look at part C. We are told this Roman number one describe fully the transformation which maps K L M N in, on, onto K L M N uh, prime. Uh, so if you observe the object and the image, uh, the transformation is a shear transformation uh, it is a shear and how do we describe shear uh, we look at the invariant line uh, if you look at this if you extend the line ml uh, like that and the, of the object and the image they meet at uh, at the x-axis uh, if you if you produce a uh, so th that means that they share a common uh, a point at, uh, at around 6. Uh, so it means the X is the invariant line and, uh, and therefore uh, X axis or Y is equals to 0 invariant. Uh, so that is how we describe if you dis if you extend m m n k n you find that they meet with the k n of both the image so you can see now this is the line that is invariant that is why we are saying x axis is invariant or uh, the y axis you can do that uh, from there we determine we are required to find uh, to determine uh, the area of the image uh, so if you look at the area of the image uh, then we say that uh, uh, the area can be calculated uh, so we say area area is equals to uh, it is a uh, it is a kind of a trapezium so you say here we have three units that is uh, k prime l prime so we have three units uh, plus uh, the nm is one. Uh, you divide by two. Uh, the formula of finding the area of a trapezium and the height is two units. So you multiply by two. Uh, so this is equals to uh, this is four uh, divided by two is two. Multiply by two is four square units. Uh, square units. So that's how you find the area. Uh, then finally, find the matrix that maps uh, K L K L L M N prime onto K L M N. So this is to mean that we are required to find the the matrix uh, that is the matrix uh, T inverse uh, because T inverse will reverse the process. Uh, it is equal to first of all we need to get the determinant of the matrix so determinant is equal to product of the elements of the main diagonal that is 1 times 1 minus uh, product of the other diagonal which is uh, 3 times 0 is equal to that is 1 minus 0 is 0 so to get the uh, the uh, the inverse of t it is a uh, one of a de uh, determinant into bracket we interchange the elements of the main diagonal and because here we have one and one so they remain the same uh, and we introduce a negative uh, uh, a negative to the to the other diagonal so here we have minus three and here we have zero minus zero is the same as zero which when you open the bracket you should be able to get one minus three uh, zero and one so that is a matrix that can map uh, a k l m n 
on to K uh, prime on to K L M N, and by doing that, you get yourself uh, two marks. So that is the whole process that you are supposed to to do to get a full score of this uh, question. Let's have a look at uh, how marks are being awarded in this question. Uh, so the uh, uh, you get uh, one mark for the method that is uh, multiplying. Uh, that is a method you get one mark uh, you get your answer you get mark to those are two marks and you get a bonus point when you now write the the coordinates in this form that is a uh, uh, from the matrix to coordinate form uh, you get a bonus mark so those are three uh, marks you score there so in the second part uh, you get a bonus point. Okay, the image here is not as clear as to what we have done, but by drawing that, you get a bonus. You get a, bo a, a point there. Uh, this is a bonus point. That is that point. By drawing the object, the image, you get a bonus point, which is there. Uh, by set by stating the 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 the, the the transformation you get a bonus point with that another point uh, this one uh, then the, you get a bonus point uh, when you describe the the point that is changing so this is another bonus point uh, and finally you get a bonus point uh, of calculating the area so that is those are the marks that you score in that part Finally, by writing how you get the the T inverse, you get a method mark. Uh, that is a method mark. You get method mark, and you get uh, answer. That you get when you get you multiply, you get the inverse of T. You get the answer, the matrix. You get uh, one answer mark. Uh, that the total marks add up to ten. So if you follow the whole that procedure that we have done, you should be able to score uh, a whole mark in such kind of a question. So mathematics is uh, uh, not the answer. We don't mark the answer, but uh, rather we mark the process and the answer that you get. So you should always be careful uh, the way you put your method, the way you organize your work. So that's how you do that question.